so limit n tends to infinity 1 by 1 into 2 plus 1 by 2 into 3 1 by 3 into 4 till 1 by n minus 1 into n okay so this is the type of problem where you have to first know how to find the summation and then get the expression so that you can evaluate the limit okay so first let's concentrate on this sum so this 1 by n minus 1 into n this can be written as partial fractions as 1 by n minus 1 minus n okay so there is a concept of changing these kind of terms into partial fractions okay which you have to look at but you can check this one out so this is if you 1 by n minus 1 minus 1 by n so this is n minus 1 into n and n minus n minus 1 so this is n minus n is 0 and 1 by n minus 1 into n so this is correct okay next we want the summation so 1 by 1 minus 1 by 2 1 by 2 this is 1 by 1 into 2 is this next 1 by 2 into 3 is 1 by 2 minus 1 by 3 1 by 3 into 4 is 1 by 3 minus 1 by 4 similarly 1 by n minus 1 into n is 1 by n minus 1 minus 1 by n now if we sum them all so this is getting cancelled so let's take another color 1 by 3 1 by 4 and 1 by n minus 1 so all this gets cancelled and hence the sum is 1 minus 1 by n okay so now if we have so the limit problem now is reduced to n tends to infinity 1 minus 1 by n now this is very simple to evaluate so n tends to infinity then 1 by n tends to 0 and hence the limit is 1 okay so this is a type of problem where you have to first simplify the summation and get one expression for it then put n tends to infinity in that our next problem is also very much similar okay and that problem is again you have some expression limit okay so that is n tends to infinity 1 plus 1 by 2 plus 1 by 4 plus 1 by 8 plus up to 1 by 2 to the power of n and then 1 plus 1 by 3 plus 1 by 9 till 1 by 3 to the power of n again for this problem to solve this you should know how to sum this geometric progression okay so for a geometric progression of a plus a r plus a r square plus a r cube plus a r to the power of n so there are n plus 1 terms here okay so the summation of this will be so it will be a into r to the power of n okay minus 1 by r minus 1 okay so then what happens so let's check this so i also don't exactly remember this so what will happen here 
so we know that okay this summation till infinity so you should check this formula but we know that when we have this summation till infinity it becomes 1 by 1 minus r okay so here the r is half and for this geometric series it is 1 by 3 so as limit n tends to infinity this becomes 1 by 1 minus half the other one becomes 1 minus 1 by 3 so this is the thing and hence it becomes 1 by 1 by 2 and then 1 by 2 by 3 okay so this is basically so 2 and then 3 by 2 so which is equal to 2 into 2 by 3 which is 4 by 3 okay so this just let's try it little bit out of curiosity so if we have two terms here so this is a 1 plus r and by this formula let's just try to check this one so a and we have term r n is equal to 1 here so r minus 1 by r 1 plus r so okay this will be n plus 1 because n plus 1 terms are there so now this will become so this was wrong now we substitute here a r so here we have n is 1 so 2 r square minus 1 by r minus 1 it becomes a r plus 1 which is equal to this okay so by this also you can try out so by this what will happen it will become so this summation is now 1 into r is n tends to infinity so this summation is 1 by 2 to the power of n plus 1 minus 1 by half minus 1 and then this is also 1 into 1 by 3 to the power of n plus 1 minus 1 by 1 by 3 minus 1 okay so this way what happens now is that now as n tends to infinity so this tends to 0 so this becomes now above expression this one becomes so so these negative terms can get cancelled out and this becomes 1 by half as in this case lower term again this n tends to infinity this tends to 0 so this is 1 by 2 by 3 okay so this gives you the same answer okay so one more thing that you should remember and i should also remember is the summation of this geometric series is a and then r to the power of n plus 1 minus 1 by r minus 1 okay and if r is less than 1 then you can also write a 1 minus r to the power of n plus 1 by 1 minus r okay just multiplying by minus 1 on both sides so this was about another problem now 